Hi, this is Stella again. This past week, I, it was last week, I met a patient at the hospital and I was a chaplain. I talked to the patient, um, after a little bit a nurse came by and the nurse was saying, oh, you know you have coronavirus and that's why uh, you got that from your grandson. And then as soon as I heard the word coronavirus, I realized that I was like, oh, I was not doing that physically, but I was doing that emotionally and internally. What was it about? The nurse was saying, okay, you know, later on he was, she was saying it's not the coronavirus that we know in China, coming from China, but corona itself is a common flu. But just that the one, the novel coronavirus 19 is the one that's uh, causing a lot of problems in the world right now. That really got me to think. The way I was dealing with this patient in the beginning, I was seeing him as a person, of course. Um, as a patient who needed my care. But as soon as she said coronavirus, I was like, oh my gosh, do I need to be... Or am I safe here? Am I, do I need to protect myself? What do I need to do? I don't even have a mask. Or do I have a mask? What, what's going on? I saw myself having some fear. I think that is what's going on around the world right now. What do we see in the world? National news. No more toilet papers or water bottles in Costco for one example just just this one practical one but in the societal level a lot of blaming ostracizing criticizing and I watched some videos about those people in China having Wuhan being sealed in their house because of the health health staff officials or the government officials or just their neighbors who are concerned about their own health and safety they're sealing locking their neighbor's house and the children inside saying like or shouting like what do we do like people being locked in locked up what are they going to do with food? What are they going to do for life? How are they going to survive? It is good that we're trying to be concerned about our safety, trying to prevent further spread of this infection. But what about those people who have that? It was so saddening for me to read some news in Korea about SCJ when they're being exposed. Uh, when their identity is being ex- exposed, now they're going to be either okay, it's possibly lose their jobs, lose their reputation, lose maybe trust from their families or loved ones if they were not shown or if they have been keeping things secret. Everything is just, you know, falling apart. Can you imagine? Um, I'm not necessarily agreeing with their teachings and what they believe in but I think when we start to identify them as SCJ not as people we fall into a trap um, making them or losing, neglecting the worth of a person you know when I was in SCG, when I was a part of them, people kept trying to do the same thing to me. You know what? You are SCJ. You are going there to tell me why do you believe that. They saw me as SCJ. I was just a person who was following the teachings of SCJ because I thought that was right. And they're doing the same thing with those people who are in SCJ. And if we keep identifying them as SCJ itself blaming them for whatever happened generalizing everything ostracizing them where can they go where would they be able to come back 
I'm not talking about this as a person who's so far from them. I'm talking about you guys who are watching, most of you guys who have loved ones there or you who are in there. We want to do something about this all together, not um not about okay, you are this, you are SCJ or not, you're corona or not. I think I think it's kind of very um it is saddening, saddening and upsetting at times, uh, for me to see how people are being treated as objects not people and where is it all coming from I think it is fear we want to blame people we want to do something about this so that I can live so that you know it will not affect me coming out of our fear our selfishness what if they are your loved ones what if it was you what if you're being locked up at home, not being able to go outside? Just because of the fact that you have corona, because of the fact that you fell into something, you believe in this teaching of SJ. I want to make this video to make sure that I have this message and deliver this message to you guys to say that. love never fails it was not people identifying me as SJ that got me leave what left me what helped me to leave is the acceptance embracing me as who i am and isn't that what we want all of us ultimately life freedom liberation acceptance so these are the two things I want to leave you guys with. Two Bible verses. One, oh, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John fourteen twenty seven. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41.10 Two favorite verses of mine. Um, it is not fear. Look in, let's look into ourselves. What? is the motivation of everything what is the cause of everything that's driving us to react to something I want us to think about the love of God how can we resolve this not just to identify people as an object or something let's love them let's pray that they will come back that they will be healed physically and emotionally and spiritually. Thank you.